All that we have left today of the mighty dinosaurs are their fossils, stone copies of long dead bones. It is easy to forget that these were once living animals, surviving in a world of unimaginable violence. But if you know what you are looking for, the signs and scars of life are clear, as in this remarkable Allosaurus skeleton in Wyoming, nicknamed Big Al. By studying his bones, comparing him with other fossils and modern animals, there is just enough evidence to raise the ghost of Big Al from its 145 million year old grave. Bit by bit, a story of how he might have lived can be pieced together. It's a story that started, like all dinosaurs, with an egg. Buried in a pile of Jurassic sand is a clutch of eggs. It is the end of the dry season, and there are signs of life. A huge carnivorous Allosaurus hears the squeak of the hatchlings and approaches the nest. at her mercy. Fortunately, this is their mother. This is Big Al's first day. For now, he can rely on his mother's protection, but within weeks, he will have to learn to stand on his own two feet. In seven short years, he could become a gigantic predator like his mother, but the odds on him surviving that long are low. has been born into a world dominated by giants. For a carnivore, no meal comes easy here. Some prey, like the 30-ton Apatosaurus, are giant fortresses of flesh, too large to attack even by fully grown Allosaurus. Many smaller species rely on lightning fast speed, while others, like Stegosaurus, stand and fight with lethal spines. It is a daunting prospect for this brood of tiny killers. They will have to learn very fast. And fighting among themselves is a good way to start. However, at this size, they are just as likely to be the hunted as the hunters. A pair of predatory Ornithalestes watch the brood, waiting for their chance. The mother Allosaurus is 50 times their weight, so they will not venture too close while she is present. However, the smell of all these new hatchlings will soon attract other, larger predators. So eventually, the mother decides it is time to lead her unruly brood away. That evening, the mother abandons her brood while she hunts for food for herself. She is not the only one on the prowl tonight. The hatchlings are being watched by another predator.
mother returns to her station, having lost one hatchling. The victim was not Al, but ironically, the attacker is a year-old Allosaurus. These youngsters only have a few weeks of protection before the mother's maternal instincts wear off, and she too will view them as fast food. Al now hunts alone. Measuring almost three meters, insects are no longer on the menu. He is looking for dinosaur flesh. There is a wide choice in this conifer and cycad forest. A flock of small Othnelia look ideal, but there is a big problem. A heavily armored Stegosaurus is working his way through a cycad stand nearby. The Othnelia feed off the smashed cycads he leaves behind. This means they are sticking very close to him. Too close for a small predator to get in between and attack. A mother Ornithalestes attending her nest mound may prove more promising. But the small Allosaurus is about to find out he is no match for an overprotective mother. Nearby, a group of Dryosaurus offers Al one more chance. possibly run down such swift prey. He needs to learn to ambush. He has also ended up too near the edge of the forest. Patasaurus are crashing through the outer forest looking for new plant growth. Not exactly suitable prey for Al. Back among the trees, Al finally finds something to take the edge off his hunger. A nearby stagnant pool offers plenty of opportunity to scavenge meat, as many dinosaurs have come here to drink and become stuck in its thick mud. A recent victim is this Stegosaurus that lies where it died of exhaustion, trying to drag itself free. But dead bodies also attract adult Allosaurus. This one is large enough to kill Al, but she would prefer a free meal. Unfortunately, the churned up swamp left by the Stegosaurus is dangerous, and one of her kind has already become trapped next to the carcass. Ignoring the danger signals, the new Allosaurus approaches the carcass to feed.
By evening, two more carcasses lie beside the pond. This swamp is a natural predator trap, and before the Stegosaurus finally rots away, numerous more carnivores could fall for its attractions. The bodies are left to those that can feast here in safety, the flying pterosaurs. <laughs>